Hello students, welcome to the solution video of cyclic test 2. The subject that we are going to discuss is economics. So this was a 30 marks paper and the portion that it covered included only one chapter that is introduction to economics. Now students, uh, this paper was divided into two sections, section A and section B. Section A had uh, one main question which under which there was five sub questions each carrying two marks weightage. So the total uh, section A consisted of 10 marks in total and section B contained three main questions, question two, question three and question four, right? Now each of these main questions also consisted of two sub questions each and they uh, constituted for five marks weightage. Now under section B, you had an option where you could choose to write any two main questions out of the three questions available to you which means out of the 30 marks allocated in section B, you have to only attempt for 20 marks. So 20 marks from section B and 10 marks for, from section A, together totaling up to your paper of 30 marks. Now let's start solving the paper. The, when you first start, start solving the paper, you write section A on top, you mention the section on top, then write the question number and the sub-question, right? The first question is, Classify the following activities as to whether they're economic activity or non-economic. So you have two activities that was given to you in your question. Washing your car, selling of newspapers by a student. Now since washing of a car is something that is non-economic in nature, where you're doing it for your own personal gain, you're not doing it for any monetary return, it will be an non-economic activity, so your answer should be non-economic activity, right? And the second thing is selling of a newspaper by a student. Now, you're selling newspaper so that uh, you get money in return, so the expectation is monetary reward, so therefore it is an economic activity, so you write the answer economic activity, okay? Now, the next question, if you have written both of these, you will earn your two marks. So, one situation or one classification where you identify whether what kind of an activity it is. If you write one, you get one mark. If you answer both of them correctly, you get two marks. Now the next question is define economy. Now students, since uh, it is a definition, the answer must be written exactly how it is mentioned in your textbook in italic, right? So uh, you will write uh, everything exactly word to word. You will not write this answer in your own words. The next question is, what are economic activities? Now, this is something where you can write the answer in your own words, right? So, economic activities are those activities conducted by human beings to satisfy their wants, but your motive primarily is to earn money in exchange or money in return, right? So, the word money, monetary value, all of this should be mentioned. You can also add a sentence that it is essentially concerned with the production exchange and consumption of goods and services. So you can add this into your answer. Now the next answer is state four groups. State the four groups of the definition of economics is divided into. Now what are the four definitions given to us? The four, now when such an answer is asked, what you will do is, what you will do is, you will first take the words from the so now you'll take words from the sentence or from the question itself and you'll frame your first sentence. You'll say that the four groups into which the definitions of economics are classified or divided into are. And then point-wise or number, numbering them, you'll write the four definitions. Wealth definition, uh, the welfare definition, the scarcity definition, the growth definition, the change definition. All of this must be mentioned, right? So once you've done this, you'll score your two. The next question is, that is question 1E is, name the famous book that is written by Adam Smith, right? So this is a very easy question. Just writing one sentence is enough. to so write the famous book, an inquiry into the nature and causes of wealth of nation, is the book that was written by Adam Smith. So with this, you end your section A. You have attempted for all 10 marks questions. You're done with it. Now you're starting the next section, that is section B. Now, since it is a new section, you will take it to a new page. You'll start answering from a new page. Write the section at the top, section B at the top. Write the question number that you're attempting. 
So in this case, I'm attempting question two. So you write question two A. Now the question two A says, explain the main characteristics of Samuelson's definition of economics. Right. So you will write what Samuelson's definition of economics is first, and then go about and write the main characteristics of Samuelson's definition are as follows. Write the header point. Write the explanation. Okay. How. Uh, Whatever, how many characteristics are there? You have to write all of them. If there are more than five, you will restrict it to only writing five header points or five characteristics with header points and explanation. Okay. The next question is: State the main features of Alfred Marshall's definition of economics. Again, the same thing. You can write the the definition given to us by Marshall, and then go about and write the main features of Marshall's definition and. Uh, you can write the header points and you can write the explanations that are given us. Now the next question is question three. Question three a. On what grounds is Adam Smith's definition of economics criticized? Which means they're asking you for the demerits or the criticisms of Adam Smith's definition. Now this is not there in scope. It is completely scrapped out of your textbook. So there is no point in discussing it. So we move to the next question. Question three b. Distinguish between economic and non-economic activities. Now, students always remember when a difference between question or a distinguish between question is asked, always answer the question. Uh, when you answer the question, do it in a table format. Create a table. Write the basis of distinction. Uh, write the two concepts: economic activities and non-economic activities, and write their distinguishing points. Uh, also, distinguishing points has to be in a sentence format. You cannot just write one word or two words as a distinguishing point. Complete it into a sentence and write it down. Now, since it is for five marks, you will write five distinguishing points uh, along with the basis of distinction. So, there are three things that you keep in mind: the basis of distinction has to be there. It has to be in a table format. And thirdly, all the distinguishing points, explanation. There is this that I am talking about. It has to be in. The sentence format. The next question, that is question four a, critically examine the defects in Marshall's definition of economics. Again, they are asking for the criticism. Criticism is not there in scope, so we shall not discuss about it, as there is no point in discussing. The next point or next question is give any four features of Robin's definition, Lionel Robin's definition. The students first, you will write the definition given to us by Robbins, Lionel Robbins, and once that is done, you will write the features of Lionel Robbins' definition are, and then point-wise number each headers uh, of the features, and then write down their suitable explanation. Right? Since it is for five marks, you will write five points. Uh, but in case there are no five points. Uh, you can write as much as it is given in your textbook. That is enough because that are the only characteristics. You will restrict yourself. But if in case if there are more than five points, then you will restrict yourself to writing only five features of Lionel Robbins because it is given for five. You will not write six or seven features, right? So that is it then. Thank you, students.